Hello guys, on this video I'm going to show you how to create this pattern in Adobe Illustrator. So we're going to start by creating this. First, we need to make a rectangle, so we're going to take the rectangle tool and we create one. We need to have only the stroke, so no fill, just stroke, 13 points is fine. And now I'm going to duplicate it, so I'm taking the selection tool, I'm holding the option or alt key and the shift key, and I'm copying the file down. So now we have created two rectangles, we need two more on the other direction. So we're going to copy these, again by holding down option or alt key and shift. And now I'm taking the cursor on the corner till I see this icon. I'm holding the shift down and I rotate the rectangles by 90 degrees. Now I'm taking the rectangles on top of the others. As long as I'm going to delete some lines, I'm going to the Pathfinder and I'm selecting this icon here for the outlines. This separates the outlines to smaller parts. Now the stroke has gone, but I can add it again. You will notice that this process has converted the object to a group. So we need to ungroup it. I'm going to Object, Ungroup. As you can see, when I click on a line, it only selects one line. Now we need to delete some of them. So with the Selection tool, I click and I delete. We need to delete the outer lines as well, but we're going to use another method. So we're selecting the object, and then we're taking the pen tool. We add an anchor point, and then we click delete. This way we open the path, and we delete only the line we don't need. Now we select it again, pressing the letter P to select the pen tool, adding an anchor point, and delete. Now we're going to add some shadows here, like those lines. So we're selecting the line tool and we create six lines. They need to be equally spaced, so I'm going to select them and click here. They have also the same stroke, so I'll leave it 13. And I'm going to change the width profile and select this one. We need to have them a bit closer together. Be careful to place them exactly in the middle. Now I'm going to group these lines. So I'm going to object and then group. And I will duplicate again holding the option or alt key. Click and drag. I need to rotate it. Now I'm going to select both groups and I will make it a new group. We need to add one more group of lines like this because this will help us later in the pattern. So I'm going into the group, I copy one of them, I'm going out and I paste. Now I duplicate it to put it in the opposite side. I assume that it would be easier for the pattern if we make these lines a bit longer. So I'm going to take the direct selection tool this time. And I'm clicking only on the anchor points at the top. 
by holding shift to select all of them. I click and drag now just to make them a bit longer. Same with these. The last thing we need to add before we create the pattern is the color. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool and I create a rectangle like this. I remove the stroke and I add a fill. I will add a different color separated from the previous one. So now I'm taking the selection tool by pressing the letter V. I click and hold to duplicate it. I'm also holding the shift key. Make sure to be in the middle of the stripe. I select both. I duplicate them again. As earlier, I'm holding the option or alt key to duplicate them and the shift key to move them straight. I rotate them and then I move them on top of the other stripes. I select all four of them. I merge them and then I'm going to the layers panel and I will move them at the bottom. Probably it would be better to add all of them in a group. So I'm going to select all and go into object group. Okay, now that we have created the design, we need to make it a pattern. So I have it selected and then I'm going to object, pattern and then make. I'm going to change the spacing so it will be connected. So I click here and then I reduce the spacing. To make it easier, we can go and reduce the opacity of the copies. We can still see them but it is easier to edit the pattern. As we see the squares are not equal because we need to have all the squares exactly the same as this one. That means that we need to make the outer lines longer. So I'm going to return them to zero and I'm going to take the direct selection tool and select these anchor points to make them longer. I do the same on all the sides. I think here will be okay because if you notice the size of this square here is about the same as this one. I also moved the shadow lines to be aligned. Now I'm going again to reduce the spacing and it should be fine. Here it seems to have an issue so we're going to change the overlap and now it looks better. So now the pattern has been created on the swatches panel and if you still need to edit it, you can double click here and edit it. For example, if I go out and then I create a square, I will go and change the fill to the new pattern and we can see it is fine. However, if I would like to change the color, for example, I can double click and then if we go to the layers panel, we can change the color by going to the bottom, select the layer and change the color to whatever we would like. For example, something like that. If we go out, it has been updated to this color. We can also place it on top of a black fill so we can fill the gaps with black. So we create a new square, we change the fill to black, and we put it on the back. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, click the like button, share and subscribe. See you on the next one.